I have always enjoyed running. It is a really big part of my life. Ever since I was very little, my dad would take me to the track with him when he needed to do a workout. He used to try to get me to run laps with him, but my seven-year-old mind would have rather been kicking a soccer ball or have been playing with a football. As I grew older near the end of elementary school, I started to discover my passion and talent for running. Whenever we would do the pacer test or the mile, all of the other students would groan with disappointment while I would get excited. I've always had a running background in my life, but I never thought it would get me to where I am today. This is Running In My Life by Jackson Shorten. From a young age, he always went down to the track with me and he, he ran, you know, ever since he was like two or three. So, um, you know, I thought like he was always going to be a great athlete and I'm not surprised at all that he's turned into to be a really, really good runner. In the fifth grade, the journey of my running career really started to unravel. My mom works for the Thompson School District, which was hosting a 5K race. My mom signed me up, assuming that I'd want to try it. A former Mountain View student named Shane offered to line up at the starting line with me, just so I wasn't alone in the sea of people getting prepared to take off from the starting line. I never ran a road race in the past, so I didn't really know what to expect. Once the race started, I tried to keep Shane in my sights. The race went on, and I kept with the high school junior. When we were in the closing stages of the race, I caught up to Shane and ended up passing him. I finished the race first overall in my age group and sixth overall out of the entire race. I ran a time of 21 minutes, 11 seconds, which considering it was my very first race was pretty good. From there, I started to get more interested in running and the next year started cross country at my new middle school. I went throughout middle school competing in both cross country and track. My seventh grade year, I really started to accelerate and I ended up winning my first middle school cross country race. After the race, I was very excited on my first victory. But shortly after I finished, I had immense pain throughout my knee keeping me from running and walking without a limp. I discovered that I had a thing called runner's knee, which is basically when your kneecap slides off to the side. I underwent multiple months of physical therapy. I just remember how heartbreaking it was to go from such a good athlete to not being able to compete at all. Good news is, I eventually made my way back with recovery, and I was able to compete at the end of the track season that same year. This year, I had a fresh start in 8th grade. This was really my year to shine. I ended up winning all of the meets in the regular season except one. I was the middle school conference champion. I went on to compete at the middle school state cross country meet, which I got third place at. All these events led up to where I am in high school cross country today. Right now in my life, running is definitely my main passion. Running has helped add to my confidence and me being more social. Now I'm in the ninth grade running on the distance varsity team at Mountain View High School. I've made many friends and majorly increased my physical fitness because of running. Most people think of running as a punishment or something negative, but I think it is much, much more than that. Transferring from middle school to high school training has made me such a better athlete. Running both cross country and track has been a very good experience so far at Mountain View High School. I'm very excited to compete and strive for new personal bests this year in the 2 mile, mile, and 800 meter. Some of my personal bests already from earlier this year and last year are 454 for the mile, 1004 for the 2 mile, and 217 for the 800. I hope to break these barriers early this track season. I have gotten to travel a ton because of running. Each year I compete unattached in the Junior Olympic National Cross Country Championships, which is held in a different state each year. I also get to travel to the regional championships, which is usually in another state as well. This year is by far the best I have ever done at a national championship. I ended up finishing 5th overall and getting the title All-American, which is a really big honor to have. This year, uh, 2018 in Reno, um, he trained really, really hard and got an incredible race at the national championship. And he actually led the race at one point and then he ended up getting fifth. 
and he became All-American and he achieved his goal. So that was really, really exciting to watch him achieve his goal in all that. I have a lot of future goals because of running, like certain times I want to achieve or places I want to go, including the state meet this year. One of my main goals is to have both my academic grades and my running get me a scholarship into a D1 school for college. I also want to compete in college at the highest level. Depending on how things go, I might try to turn professional one day, but that would be quite a challenge. But some of my short-term goals for this year are to break 10 minutes in the 2 mile, to run under 4 minutes 40 seconds for the mile, and to run under 2 minutes 10 seconds for the 800. I also have a shot of breaking the school record for the 2 mile, which is currently 9 minutes 55 seconds. I also want to get closer to my teammates and make more friends through track and field and cross country. I want to run under 16 minutes for the 5k next year, which seems like a really tough goal, but I believe I can do it. I have many more running goals, but it would be a pain to list all of them. <laughs>